What is up, YouTube? This is Wi Fi Mirror here today, bringing you guys a best of free VGC against my good friend Zach. Zach is a um, pr uh, pretty strictly VGC content creator, but um, he also uploads um, Pokemon card openings on the side. He ha uh, does figures and all sorts of awesome uh, stuff. So if you guys want, go ahead and check him out in the description down below. I'll have a link for him. Also, question of the day what is your favorite format do you like bdsp singles do you like doubles do you um like vgc um let me know in the comments down below now this is uh since i haven't played vgc yet on the channel i kind of just had to fit some pokemon together that i thought would be a pretty good vgc team in fact i only have one pokemon that actually has protect which will be my wheezing and i kind of figured i needed that uh, for the team so uh, we're rocking out with Bruno for my Encanto team build or theme team Amy Palm, Sableye Scizor, Antonio which is also from the Encanto theme team and Weezing so um yeah let's see uh, he's rocking out with a Sun team it looks like uh, definitely um Garchomp could be an initial problem is what I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and lead Alkazam Ambipom for game one. In the back, I'm thinking Arcanine could be very useful. And let's go Sableye. Alright, let's lock in. Let's lock in. Alright, he said good luck, have fun. Alright, let's see what happens. Alright, Garchomp Zapdos lead. Okay. I got my Ambipom. And my so I'm feeling discharge earthquake combination here. There's not much I can do to fully stop it. Which one should hit harder is the biggest question. Um, okay. So what I'm thinking is I will probably be able to set up a nasty plot and fake out the Garchomp. Uh, we should live any attack. Hey, that's fine too, buddy. If you want to protect it, we should live a discharge from a um, Zapdos. I'm assuming with our Alkazam. Alkazam's our big uh, sweeper, basically, on this team. We'll see what he wants to do, though. I'm curious to see discharge. Why did you protect? Were you afraid of the fake out? That might have been it. He could have been just afraid. Okay. Fantastic. Things are looking good. Um, yeah, we can definitely probably drop that Garchomp with a Psychic. And um, I'm wondering if... Yeah, Garchomp's down. No, it's not. It's Focus Sash. Okay. Last Resort does come out. How much damage are we doing to Zapdos? Quite a bit. Discharge. Alkazam should live, but do we live a Earthquake follow-up? That will be a big negative, in my opinion. Good play. Good play. I didn't realize he was a uh, Focus Sash. That is very interesting tech to run on Garchomp, if, if you ask me. But, hey, it works out in this scenario, because now I'm in big trouble, actually. I am in big trouble. But that's good information for best of three. We might be in trouble right now, but I think overall we're probably in a decent spot, right? Definitely gonna go ahead and try and throw that burn onto that Garchomp. Or should we try and take him out? The thing is, we're not gonna be faster. We're just not going to be that fast. So I guess, yeah, we'll throw a burn onto the Garchomp. Get yeah, that's fine. And I'm on Morning Sun. Okay, so he's just scouting to see what I was wanting to do. The idea was if he went for Earthquake, we'd just Morning Sun the damage off, and it wouldn't have been that big a deal. Um, we do have Snarl for Zapdos to weaken it as well. Um. Honestly, I think in this scenario, let's just go ahead and flamethrower. Yeah. 
Flying throw around to the Garchomp. He's not going to be doing that much damage. So Zapdos going for a big Roost play. Okay. Hey, respectable. That's res I mean, we practically neutered your um, Garchomp. This shouldn't be doing that much damage. Burnt and at minus one. Okay, I'll take it. And his Zapdos actually took damage because he lost the flying. Ooh, actually, wouldn't that have been super effective? <laughs> oh, wow, okay. So, yeah, Zapdos is actually pretty weakened in this state. Garchomp will go down. Finally. Alright, alright, alright. Let's see who your next Pokemon will be. Victory Bell. I think at this point, I don't rem I don't know if Victory Bell is a physical attacker or if it's a uh, special attacker. Tell you honest truth, hmm. Let's just go ahead and burn it and snarl. Why not? That kind of covers both options because I I'm honestly feeling like Victory Bell could be a decent mix attacker. I, I'm getting those vibes. I have not seen a Victory Bell in ages, but I'm just feeling like those vibes could happen. Torco comes out. That is fine with me. Um, definitely powering up the power of Arcanine. Sableye is a unit, guys. I mean, I love myself some Sableye. Sableye is kind of keeping us in the game right now with his ability. And right there is Weather Ball. So that is a special Victory Bell. That does so much damage. Okay. That is fine. We do have Recover on our Sableye. So we should be able to freely go for that. And I'm, since Sableye is... And Arcanine, my last Pokemons, I definitely need to keep them alive as much as possible. So, yeah, to easily recover. And, honestly, Snarl. I don't see you doing that much damage to me overall once I get you a few Snarls in. So, I feel like if you crit, the Sableye could easily go down. But, if you don't, I feel like Sableye can easily live... Um, even if you're going for Eruption, I feel like it's not going to be as powerful being at minus two. Plus, we're also weakening you. Sludge Bomb, not very effective. Um, okay, I think Weather Ball would have been right, right, right play there. Let's see. That Eruption is going to be the biggest issue, right? Heat Wave. We should live? Okay, yeah. We are living. We are living, so we're looking good. We are looking good. We're getting decent chip damage off. And Sableye is at the point where he cannot... It's going to be really hard for him to pick up the KO, in my opinion, because we're easily throwing these Snarls off. Eventually, we'll be able to go for a Calm Mind, and that could help us seal up this game, basically. Sleep Powder. Onto the Arcanine. Good play on Zack's part. Good play. Yeah, Arcanine's definitely the reason what's slowing you down, so great play there. Heat Wave coming out. Still doing quite a bit of damage. I really need Arcanine to wake up. He has a chance to wake up this turn because this Victory Bell did put me asleep before my first... Before we move, so therefore we have one turn of sleep already. So we can wake up this turn. Ideally, we do wake up, and I do want to throw a flamethrower at that victory bell. Torka will switch. And Zapdos comes out. Zapdos is very weakened. If we can get if we can get this victory bell off the board, I can honestly see if he goes for the um, Giga Drain. Okay, you're at minus two. You're not doing that much damage. Like, really and truthfully, I don't see why you're keeping this Victory Bell. Like, I didn't see why you just don't try and spam Sleep Powder at this point. I think that's your win condition. Um, Sableye is at that point where I can fully recover basically my full health. And try and wake Arcanine up. This is the third turn of sleep. So, I'm, ass I'm assuming that. Well... 
technically, if we sleep this turn, that would be free turn, so it guarantees us to wake up next turn. Yeah, he's just getting damaged now on Arcanine. That's a crit. You better wake up. Ooh, he's still doing quite a bit of damage. A lot of damage. Zapdos is doing a lot more damage. Don't like seeing that. Don't not like seeing that. Yeah, Zapdos will easily be able to take us out here. So might as well try and get one of those last ditch burns off. And if we can, let's go ahead and get that Morning Sun off. Yeah, because that can at least guarantee us a, a few ticks of burn. Can definitely KO that Zapdos. He's going into the Arcanine. Arcanine is a special wall on this team. Oh, he doubled into the Arcanine. Ooh, that's tough. That, is, that makes it really tough for me. Yeah, that was a smart play. That was a good play, though. Good play, Zach. Alright, yeah, we'll definitely have to try and recover Stall, but he's definitely got the... He, he's in the right spot, because now both his attacks are going to be doubling into our, into our stable eye. That's... He actually goes for Roost. Okay. What are you doing with uh, Victory Bell? Giga Drain. Giga Drain's still doing quite a bit, and I think if you double, you're definitely going to be getting the KO. Yeah, this game won. I'm going to give it to Zack, basically, because, I mean, and, I mean, he played pretty good. We'll calm mind. We'll, we'll show him. If we can get this, if we can get this going, like, if you want to set up or something, be my guest. We'll, we'll go ahead and set up our calm mind. Sableye is definitely a, uh, this one's actually a pretty good sweeping Sableye. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, there's the Thunderbolt. That should KO us. Yeah. GG. Good game one. What could I have done different? Um, really and truthfully, I think I played pretty good. It's just, I, I think that Garchomp. It being in Focus Sash really gave him the momentum that he needed to actually carry him the rest of the way. If he wasn't Focus Sashed, we would be we would be in such a great spot. So I wonder And he protected turn one with Garchomp. Hmm, okay, okay. Definitely Bruno and Bipom again, right? And then in the back, I think, I, I don't mind the Arcanine and Sableye. I think they did fantastic, and I don't think there's a reason not to bring them. Um, is Scizor worth bringing? It is a uh, Sun team, and I just don't think Scizor is the right Mon here. Because Zapdos is very threatening. Weezing, on the other hand, there's a lot of special attackers, so Weezing is really tough to bring two so yeah I think I have to go Arcanine and Sableye in the back um I could switch my leads up though have Sableye Arcanine Ambipalm and Alkazam in the back because I think Alkazam definitely had a sweeping potential so we'll definitely switch our leads up and see what happens this could be good this could be bad but we'll have to wait and see what happens so he leads Zapdos and Garchomp. We instantly get that um, Intimidate off onto that Garchomp. So that, uh, I feel like that forces him, if he has it, to go for Sword Stance. And I'm going to go for Snarl and Wisp. And if he wants to protect that Garchomp, let him protect it. That's fine. Yep, we get Wisp off. Garchomp is um, now burnt. That means the Focus Sash will be gone by the end of this turn. We're looking fantastic. Discharge will come out. We should be okay. Yeah. 
we should live a safe life. Yeah, that didn't do that much damage at all. Fantastic. We're looking good. We're looking good. So, special tag drops on Zapdos, which is the most important part. We got the burn onto the Garchomp. We're looking good. This is a very scary team because of it being a Discharge Earthquake. They're not hitting themselves. I think right here we'll try and get the Morning Sun off. I know we'll get the Recover off and we should be in a better spot once uh, we get this this turn of health. Um, Arcanine could go down here. I'm not gonna lie, Arcanine can easily go down here. Um, hopefully he survives this combination, but I don't know. Really and truthfully, I don't know if he will. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so he does reveal the Swords Dance. And we get the Morning Sun off. Fantastic. Okay, so, at this point, I, we, we know that they're going to try and go for that Earthquake. There's not much we can do to stop it. But we can keep on weakening that Zapdos. And go ahead and throw a burn onto it. I think I think burning it is going to be the best thing for us. If Sableye or Arcanine go down, it gives me a free opportunity to go into our um, Alkazam or Ambipom, so I'm not opposed for this if one of them happens to go down. Swords Dance happens. The thing is, like, Garchomp did not outspeed my Ambipom, and a Fake Out Last Resort is just going to be doing so much damage to you. Like, it should knock you out. And I really don't want him to get to plus six, which it looks like he might be trying to do. So that's a little bit unfortunate. But like I say, we should be able to handle him if he happens to get to plus six. We'll go ahead and set up the morning sun. And really and truthfully, like I said, I want Sableye to kind of go down. So. Discharge. Arcanine should survive. Yeah, Arcanine's thick. All right, so now we did get paralyzed, dude. That's not. That's not good. That's not good at all. Earthquake, single target. That could KO Arcanine, but I think we're in a better spot, though. Yeah, I think we're in a good spot. Cause this gives me a free Alkazam Ambipom. Has some high, high status onto the Garchomp, high status on the Zapdos. And we'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens. Like I say, that uh, Zapdos is not a threat no more because we got him down to like minus two. So I don't have to worry about it. And as of right now, I'm going to go for Substitute and I'm going to go for a nice. He might protect Garchomp. That's a that's something I'm thinking. But I think either way, I I'm forced to go for a fake out into that Garchomp slot. We're gonna try to substitute play. This will give me a chance to get. Okay, so fantastic. First off, he doesn't he doesn't protect with Garchomp. So we called that correctly. We get substitute up. Zapdos being at minus two, does it break the sub if it goes for discharge? Let's find out. Sub does fade. It's unfortunate. Unfortunate. But I do know it's not going to be doing that much damage. Unfortunately, Ambipom gets paralyzed. That's huge. That is huge. Okay. Take out the Garchomp. We'll last resort into the Zapdos slot, hopefully. Last Resort goes before the Zapdos moves, because this seems like a bulky Zapdos. Not 100% though. Not 100% on that. Okay, he does happen to go before us. We should survive. Fantastic. Last Resort does come out. 
and we can't take out the Zapdos. Fantastic. So it's going to come down to the wire in this game number two. And really and truthfully, I need it to go my way. <laughs> if, we, I, if I need to cause a game number three, I need this to go my way. Um, I know you got that Victory Bell. Victory Bell is going to be faster than our Alakazam due to the Torco's drought, unfortunately. And we know that's who you're targeting. I just have a feeling that I, I, that's who you're targeting. <laughs> Last resort. This is metronome boosted. If we can get it off. That should do a lot of damage to Torko. Sledge Bomb coming into the Ambipom slot actually. So I mean I think the Torko is just gonna destroy us with a um eruption, but we do take out the victory bell. Alright, Torko, what are you doing? Heat wave. Never misses, apparently, and Zach wins the best best two out of three in two games. Great team, Zach. This is a, a fun set. Um, guys, like I said in the beginning of the video, go check them out. The link will be in the description down below. Uh, this is Wi-Fi Merriman signing out. Peace.